What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys and let you know my story when it comes to the Super Nintendo Classic Mini Console Edition. Today is August 22nd. It's been a very, shall I say, stressful day for me. I woke up, went to work this morning at 5. I got to work. My wife woke up with a sore throat, poor thing, and she said, Did my brother, the infamous Joe, sent her a text through, through the middle of the night at 1 o'clock a.m. and told her that Best Buy had released pre-orders for the Super Nintendo Mini. Now you guys know I've been really, really excited about this console. I knew it would be very, very hard to get. I knew it would be extremely tough to get. And so I was really flustered with the idea that Best Buy would do this at, in the middle of the night at like 12.30 or 1 o'clock Eastern. And so, of course, I went to, to, to the website Best Buy and I, I tried to pre-order and of course they were sold out. And I was extremely frustrated and flustered at work as to why Nintendo would choose this dubious hour to, to release pre-orders. And so, I was just upset. I sent my brother a text. I, I asked him, I said, why would you not call me and wake me up if you text me at 1 in the morning or text my wife at 1 in the morning? And I told him how frustrated I was because he got the NES Mini already, you know. and. Uh, I told him to look out for me, keep his eyes open just in case I missed it and he didn't call. And so I said, you should have called me and made the heaven and earth move for me to wake up and get this thing. I can't believe you didn't wake me up. And he told me, well, at least I got one. <laughs> so he didn't say it in, in that mean of a term, but he said, yeah, I, I acted fast and I got one. I sent you the text. And so just keep your eyes open. So I did. You know, this morning I was doing my work. I downloaded a few tracking apps, the Super Nintendo Tracker and the My Tracking app for Android. And so I use those apps. And basically what these apps do is they, they'll tell you in real time when something becomes available, when something becomes available for pre-order, when they're available in the physical store. And so I never used any of these apps before. My older brother told me they were good apps to use, so I tried them out. Of course, I'm calling every video game store on earth to find out if they have pre-orders. and. No one had any, so I, I reached out to an old friend uh, who works at GameStop, a big PlayStation fan who's like a manager there, and I texted him and I asked him, I said, could you let me know if you guys get any of the Super Nintendo pre-orders in today? Because they went live, you know, at the Best Buy website, and he didn't respond back, and so I continued to work, do my job, and about two hours later, this Game, GameStop worker, uh, this employee called me and told me, he said, hey man, we just got some in. We don't have many of them. If you want them, you need to come now. So I asked him if he'd hold one for me uh, because of course he, he works close to my home. Well, not close, but about 15 miles from my house. And I work about 30 miles from my house. And so I called home and asked my wife to jump out and go grab it. So of course she under duress, thank God for good women. She said, oh God, I gotta get these girls ready. So she threw all the kids in the car and she skedaddled down the road on her way to get me a Super Nintendo Mini. So I was really, really excited at the prospect of this. But I also figured, what if other GameStops had Super Nintendo Minis to purchase? So I called the GameStop where I used to live, which is on the way to the one she was going to, and I asked them. Uh, actually, the person who answered the phone knew who I was because uh, they had been working there for the last five years. And they said, we got eight they just went live about five minutes ago and we had 12 so four of them are gone within five minutes if she's coming she needs to be here within the next five minutes and she's planning on getting one of these things and so I asked her where she was at she told me she was five minutes away and I told her to stop by there and pick up one there first now my wife has a Super Nintendo Mini from the secondary GameStop and she said I got one and I was like oh my god I'm so excited I said, go ahead to the other one, you know, to my friend at this GameStop and get the other one, too. And so she was like, oh, my God, you want me to go get the other one? I said, yeah, go get the other one. So she drove, you know, another 10 miles down the road to the other GameStop, and she got both of them. So while I'm at work, I ended up getting two Super Nintendo Minis. Now, what am I going to do with one? Of course, I'm going to unbox it and put it in my collection in my studio and play it, and I'm going to love it. I mean, oh, my God, the games that are on this thing are just nostalgia heaven. I can't believe how many great games are on this this console. I can't wait to play them and to, to introduce some of these games to my children. A lot of them I have, but some of them I don't. So I'm really anxious to do that. And I think I want to take the other one and just sit it up on my shelf and, and wait and see what happens. Because, you know, if you go on eBay right now, there's people selling these things who did the pre-orders today. They're already selling for three, four hundred bucks. 
that's easy you know people who need the money they'll go and sell it like immediately for two or three hundred dollars just to make a quick come up but for me i like to see what this thing is worth in 2030 <laughs> you know brand new in the box never opened still vacuumed sealed that's the kind of person i am i want to see what it's worth when i'm 70 you know and and what it will be worth when i hand it off to one of my kids whoever wins that lottery or you know if times get rough maybe i could sell it but I'm very, very blessed. I'm super thankful to my wife for doing all the hard work. She did all the work to get this for me today. Got two Super Nintendo Classic editions. I didn't. I never got the NES Classic, so she just told me before I make this video that it kind of makes up for me not having the NES Classic to have two Super Nintendo minis. And I'm super duper excited. If you guys would like to know if any other stores have these things, if they have them physically, or if you can order them online, check out the My Tracker app on uh, Android, and, and I believe it's on iOS. I know it's on Android, or the Super Nintendo Tracker. They send updates every few minutes to your phone to let you know exactly where they are. And they did help me out. Uh, when the GameStop pre-orders became available, it did pop up on my phone, and it let me know. A few times, like three or four times, that they were available at GameStop and act fast. When targets went up, it also let me know and they were available during that time so definitely check those out if it's too late I, I really am sorry for you Nintendo will be releasing more of these consoles they're going to release physical uh, consoles on the the 29th of next month on the actual ship date for people to walk into the stores and buy and from what I understand from the statement they're also going to have another shipment before the end of the year so hopefully you fans out there who love Super Nintendo or people who maybe are too young to have experienced the joy of what the SNES was uh, you'll you'll get your chance. So let me know what you think in the comments. I got two of them. I feel like the luckiest guy on earth, and I got a super bad wife who went and did it for me. Hope you guys are enjoying your week. If you enjoyed this little commentary, please give a thumbs up to show support for my channel. YouTube has actually made over half of my videos uh, not suitable for all advertisers, so I'm not earning any ad revenue on over half of my videos. I've, I've had this channel now for four years. And so that really, really hurts me. It, it hurts quite a bit to know what YouTube has done here. It's called the Adpocalypse. If you guys would like to support me and my efforts on this channel, please consider visiting my Patreon page. There's a link in the description, a dollar, two dollars, whatever you can afford would really help the channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.